One of the key concerns that's being expressed is that at the end of the process there has to be a statute passed by Parliament to validate the departure agreement and do whatever is necessary to change our law before we leave the EU. And the government has now conceded that such a statute is desirable and necessary, so that's a step in the right direction. The difficulty arises that the government, and I can understand they have an issue here, uh, is concerned that at the end of the process there might not be time for a statute. But rather than just sitting down with Parliament and exploring this issue as to how we can craft something which allows for such an emergency, which the government keeps on saying it doesn't think is going to happen, the government has a tendency just to try to skip around the issue and to allow keep powers or to insist that there might be circumstances in which it will just choose to use a statutory instrument in order to bring about Brexit. And we need to have a mature debate about this. I mean, most tellingly, on Friday, the government published with a great fanfare an amendment which fixed the date for Brexit by law at the 29th of March next year, something I found incomprehensible because on the face of it, it was boxing them in in a really important issue, but appeared to be offered to those who frankly would quite like us to leave the EU with no deal at all, a sort of placatory offer. And actually, when I went and trawled through the amendments, and I didn't pick it up at once, there's another amendment by the government, which actually means that they could negate that by using a statutory instrument. And I don't remember a minister ever mentioning that in the course of Friday's fanfare. And this precisely illustrates what we should not be doing.